Hi, this is Kristen from Wine Library, and I know you signed up for Behind the Vine. We wanted to start out with a couple interesting things this week, and one of which my pick this week is Peak Pool de Pinay. Um, so you, some of you might know me as K-Murph. Um, I like French wines. I had some background going in France. Um, I spent about three months working with a Bordeaux winemaker. Uh, fantastic time. I speak French. I was able to live with the family. It was quite a great time. Um, so I have a special place in my heart for French wines and I love finding values and uh, right now we have the Pique Pool de Pinay. This is from Félin, Je, Félin de Jourdain. Uh, Féline Jourdain. Féline Jourdain. <laughs> Excusez-moi. And um, this is ten dollars so you get a great little value play white wine um, and so I just wanted to introduce Michel Aboud. Um, he is the importer for this wine with Vinotas Selections. Um, they have a fantastic portfolio and just really good traditional French wines. None of this doctored stuff. It's real, you know, small production, interesting places. Um, so just a little breakdown about peak pool. Peak pool in French means the lip stinger because um, it is very acidic and um, it's one of those wines that goes very well with, um, it's actually one of the good wines that goes well with asparagus. Um, seafood and especially oysters that sort of thing you want something with some good saline content I guess in the in the food um, but these are really highly aromatic white wines they're quite tasty and they're great price wise I mean this one's coming in at 10 bucks um, but usually between 8 to you know $15 or so so you can get a really nice white wine and kind of break away from the Sauvignon Blancs and you know all that sort of thing um, so I wanted to introduce Michel and have him talk about, you know, the domain here because uh, it's a little interesting place. Well, uh, the domain is on the Etang de Tau, which is right near the Mediterranean. Right, uh, the little lagoon. Just, yeah, it's a lagoon, it's a big lagoon actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. Just south of Montpellier, near, uh, just north of the Spanish border actually. Mm -hmm. And the domain was started by the Jourdan family a couple of decades ago, but Claude Jourdan, the winemaker, took over after her mom died. Uh, in the late 90s mm. and her her wines are really aromatic I think they're really perfect examples of the grape um, this pool is a blend of three different terroirs one of which is right by the Mediterranean I mean literally you can go swimming and then walk right into the vines there we go <laughs> uh, the other one the other two are on hillsides mainly one of them is more ferrous soil mm -hmm. and the, the other one's more limestoney with lots of boulders and small rocks right uh, and in fact, I was that was the vineyard where I was in where I twisted my ankle once. Oh, well, but the, no uh, swimming for you then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just floating around. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> but the wine, I think what attracted me to the wine was it was very aromatic, whereas a lot of peak pools are actually not as aromatic. Right. This one maintains its acidity, but does have a good nose to it. You can just sit there and smell it. Mm -hmm. for hours and the wine actually improves as it warms up and it will stay good for a couple of days which is another thing that I find very important because some people can't finish the second bottle on the first night no I don't know why definitely not. well you know <laughs> but some of us are not as dedicated <laughs> to the craft <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard work yeah it is it is so the uh, this is one of the things that interested me in the wine plus the price point was right and uh, the, the terroir is just absolutely gorgeous yeah. but again the, at the end of the day it's the wine that matters and I think this wine really speaks for itself it, uh, it, it frankly to actually one of your consumers told me once it's a wine that tastes more expensive than it actually is mm -hmm. and I thought that was brilliant and that's actually my tagline I stole Excellent. it from her <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, so. Um, and I think the other thing you mentioned too about you know how some wines aren't as expressive as others the other thing too with people is that there's a lot of cooperatives down there and so this is actually a family domain yes. and I mean there's certain vineyards right. I mean this is a little bit different where some of the cheaper ones that you can find are big cooperatives uh, where basically they take the grapes, they pick them from all around from growers and then bring them to a central location and then make the wine there. So this is a very different operation where this is a family run estate. Yeah, and another little geeky fact of mm. Pique Poule is it's actually a third or fourth cousin of Muscadet, oh. which is one they both have, when you mentioned that saline thing, mm -hmm. they do both have a briny saline note to them. Right. This one's a little more expressive because it's from the south and because I think she's doing good work with it. I mean, she harvests and then uh, ferments it in stainless steel tanks individually, mm -hmm. each, oh, uh, each different vineyard. Okay. Let them sit on their leaves for about three months, mm -hmm. and then bottles it and makes the assemblage at that point. 
and figures out, well, these, this vineyard did really right. well this year, this one didn't, so we'll put a little more of that one. Yes, And, definitely. you know, I think uh, year in or year out, she has won accolades and awards throughout France and throughout Europe. Mm -hmm. And now she's getting a lot more recognition in the U.S., and it's really picking up. Yes. It's a, you know, I think it's a great wine. Of course, I am biased, but... Well, yeah. We all are in our certain <laughs> aspects, so let's get into this. I mean, this has a lot of lemon and floral notes on the nose. It's very, very vibrant, but a lot of great minerality. You can smell the slate coming through. I love that white flower note, you know? Yes. And it's not too ripe. It's, even though it's expressive, a lot of whites in the south of France, because of the heat, tend to get a little flabby, flabby and ripe. This one, definitely have that acidity at the back, and that lemony note up front. Mm -hmm. And I sat on the edge of the Mediterranean with her eating pretty much raw oysters and clams and just eat, drinking this. And well, it sounds like life is tough, huh? Yeah. I wonder why you come back sometimes. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, this has a lot of acid. This isn't for someone who likes a nice buttery oaky Chardonnay. This is the complete opposite. And um, this is one of those great wines for food pairing as well, because acid is very, very key when you're food pairing. Um, but, I mean, oysters, yeah. shellfish, I mean, this is really what you want. Well, I would also say that this wine, what I like about it is I, I'll i happily drink this year-round, even though mm -hmm. most people think Big Pool is a summer wine, because it is very refreshing. Right. Because the acidity, and this wine, especially her wines, tend to have a little more structure, it will stand up to heavier meals and in fact somebody opened it at Thanksgiving last year mm. and I was shocked considering all the different flavors you have at Thanksgiving I was like this thing just cut through everything I was like nope it's still here it's still going good whereas other wines that you taste you're like ooh okay bad, yeah bad. Uh, too much this yeah. one this one pretty much fought its way through everything and survived and really shown I was really impressed that's great that makes a lot of sense because yeah. I mean you think about Riesling being a great wine for yeah. Thanksgiving and that has that acid that we're talking about with this wine, and that that's great. Yeah. Well, I guess I know what I'm bringing for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Good, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it, and cheers.